woke up maybe 15 minutes ago from um, a couple dreams and I needed to record them. Um, it felt really good. It felt like really good ideas, but now it's just starting to fade. Um, two of them. forth, um, the universe, um, correcting us, humans, doing things that are unnatural, um, this is one of them, one of the dreams, um, the more, the more that we, um, fight something, the, um, the weaker we get against its backlash. You know, the harder you stretch a rubber band, the more it's going to hurt when it snaps back. Um, so the so the universe keeps sort of putting us in line, but we keep, you know, I mean, we are, obviously, we are the universe, but, uh, other, when I say us and, and, in the universe, um, or we, and, uh, and the rest of the universe, um, I mean, humans, um, the human mind, maybe human culture, or human civilization, um, versus, um, you know, uh, some of our, our threats, um, in this case, you know, kind of, um, viruses are one, um, but, you know, um, I think it, it, it also happens over time, um, I'm starting. I'm starting to lose the other, the other, uh, the other idea. I think it's gone. Um, I'll stick with this one. Um, so I know this doesn't sound like anything new. They're both really good though. Started writing down the. Uh, so it's taking a while for YouTube to load to get to this um, record of the webcam. I started writing down them. Um, I was thinking exponents. Not exponents. Exponential curves. Um, like, uh,. like hyperbole just uh, you know single single curve oh, for the camera going up that way um but there's a sort of line, a line that everything kind of goes in, and it's, it's over, oh yeah, the other, the other idea was, um, uh, uh, Part of the the original, the way that things are 
responding to us. And even in some ways the way that we respond to each other. Um, I don't know, I don't know what to call this. It's just thoughts, thoughts, um, feelings, thoughts. Um, but, okay, so, um, we get, we start off and we go, you know, we humans, um, brain, uh, even, even, could be our, could be human civilization, could be the human brain, um, could be uh, it could be a lot, um, an aspect a particular aspect of, of what we do but we you know we start off maybe with the, the best intentions and and then we just set plans and things for that um, hit a certain point it's almost as if uh, the universe kind of responds back and gives us another curve to keep us in line um, I started drawing it as a regular sine wave um, on a 45 degree angle but I don't I don't think it is really a whip, a sine wave. I mean, we go one way, and and you know, other things pull us back. Um, or it could not even it could not even be just like a, um, it's, it's just like error correction. You know, you you do something, you make an error, and then you have to essentially you're corrected for it you're you know almost like punishment um you know you do things that go too far and uh, we suffer for it or or something happens <coughs> i mean you know i i there wasn't anything that I could think of that didn't apply. That's why I felt like it was, it was uh, really good because there was something in it about about the way that we act and and about about how life life just acts. makes us unique. Fuck. It took too long. It took too long. The ideas are fresh when I woke up. And, and then I, I went back and forth trying to remember the one and then the other and, and getting dressed and, and coming over here and the computer was slow and I had to go to the bathroom and idea had to do with uh, how how we use uh, how we use the universe what
gain. We gain a little energy. Gain a little matter. And, and, you know, we last for a little amount of time. We occupy a little bit of space. But we use those resources. space uh, that allows us to get more matter matter allows us to get more energy energy allows us to get more time said that many times before. I mean, stuff like that. That's yeah. nothing new. There's <sighs> something new. to do with sort of almost like a balance maybe I'm mixing the two dreams up um it had a sort of had something to do with the sort of balance the I don't know this is this is separate from the one that I spent the majority of this 12 minutes already talking about the other one you know I'm not even sure if maybe that one that I just tried to explain and the uh the going back and forth you know, with the universe checking us, essentially, you know, checking us. When we get off track, the universe kind of nudges us back, the, the rest. You know, whether it's just you as an individual or, or you know, us or, or you as, as human or you, you know, humanity, humans, or us as life. Or us as our, our consciousness, our brain. Our... <clears throat> but in, in, in the universe, could the rest of the universe could very well be all the rest of life. You know, the repercussions that we suffer. Here, uh, here, um, of 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 the environment um, that these bodies this DNA and these bodies and everything have have evolved to live in you know, and if if we mess it up you know it's gonna we're gonna find it harder and harder to exist in it um, but that's not, like, we'll adapt and stuff. <sighs> ultimately, ultimately we'll be in complete control of the environment, you know, I don't, I don't care, you know, like, I think that we should, um, you know, like, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry for the rest the rest of life here on earth but uh, humans have become the authors of your future not like I expect dolphins or gorillas or something to uh, listen to this I do, I, 
I feel I feel kind of bad. I feel I feel bad for trees. You know, I feel bad for all the the bacteria that people kill with bleach and soap. Other, much, much worse chemicals. <coughs> <coughs> the ones that don't easily break down. The ones that lead to cancer. Or, you know, carcinogens. Or anything. Yeah. Yeah. The ones that cause damage. don't break down our bodies our bodies life living cells you don't know what to do with them but you know that's us it's our mistake we'll figure it out we'll deal with it um, yeah I know I know bad things will happen I know a lot of humans will die Maybe maybe only the, the fucking greedy rich will will persist. You know, maybe they'll be the only ones who can afford the antidote. Maybe they make the world so acidic, and they're the only ones who have the base. I wish I could have just pushed a button and told them told those dreams. Okay. Hmm. But I was I was really enjoying like coming when I was coming out of them when I was coming out of and I think they kind of re repeated. It's hard, it's hard, it wasn't, it wasn't one dream, it was two dreams, I'm not sure if I had one, kind of woke up, sort of went back to sleep, had another one, woke up and remembered two separate times, or whether the first one kind of became the second one. But yeah, they're two fairly, they felt like unique thoughts. They felt like, hey, this is important enough that I have to get up and share it, but I, that feeling, whatever it was, that explanation, you know, it's like a, like a formula or like a, something that just makes sense and makes you feel good. of the uh, like the air correction um, <sighs> history in the, the future was part One of them had a lot to do with time.
waves. Waves, you know, like um. filling out faster. I'm running out of memory. Hmm. Let's have a look. Um, shouldn't be. I don't know. I'll check the hard drive. But, um, so, you know, waves. Can I do it in the air? Like that. Not, not a sine wave. What would it be? An inverse? No. Um, I don't know what to call that. I don't know what to call it. But, essentially the ocean like waves the way that you draw it. When, you know. Like a... Almost like an epicycle, kind of. Like a, not an epicycle, epicycle. You know, like a wheel, like a, a wheel rolling, like in just tracing out one point on the wheel. If it's rolling this way, it goes down. You know, it goes up. But now, you know, sort of, what I'm trying to get at is that we go off, off the path, and then something, some reaction pushes us back on path. Um, get too too deep into it. I like to keep my ideas applying to as as much as possible and not, not so much vague as possible, um or general as possible, but Occasionally, I mean, not occasionally, steadily, fairly, fairly steadily. Um, progress is made. Yeah. Oh, progress. Life progresses. come back to some sort of plan or something. It's not, it's not it makes a lot more sense. Just to just see what happens. Just determine things. free to, to wonder about what, you know, what's been happening. Uh, you know, it's not, it's not just, just solid history.
throughout history. These, uh, these systems, these programs, these reactions, these uh, defenses to attacks have emerged. them a part of us. Yeah. I'm not real big on repeating myself, but I would like to mention that uh, uh, I'm, I'm beginning to think more and more that uh, there's a lot of things that we can do without lot of functions of the human body that we can do without and we can design better you know but What's going on? Like as far as... I mean, genetic engineering is one thing. No, I'm not... I'm not opposed to genetic engineering. But there are... There's a lot more that we are going to do. If not here on Earth, I mean, ultimately, I, I, I would like to, I would both like to see this planet be converted entirely into life, and, uh, you know, life forms in, in a few billion years, um, have control of it, you know, like a, a three-dimensional jungle. the math, it, it would be about f five times larger, um, the density of, uh, of the biosphere would essentially extend the radius from about what it's at now, the radius of the earth is a 6,400, and it would extend it beyond, um, 1,000, or not 1,000, 10,000, um, the radius would be beyond 10,000. kilometers because the, the, the crust on the planet itself is more dense than humans um, the planets somewhere around um, 5,000 um, grams per cubic centimeter or kilograms per cubic kilometer, Kilo kilograms per cubic meter. Um, but yeah, it's a standard measure of density, and uh, life is, is essentially is uh, humans. Or, or about as dense as as water. When you think about it, I mean, it kind of balances out between the air, um, the air, the water, and the material, the matter.
continue to take bits of the earth and put it up in the air Making our own jungle, making our own anthills, our own trees, videos that I did a story about life. Um, in the description, I, I wound up typing out a lot more stuff. And I went to save it, and it didn't save. And then I went, I went back, and I couldn't get, couldn't get back to it. about us um, potentially extending because I mean if the the volume the volume of the planet if we can you know converted the rest of it into life into um, you know in my example I used humans but obviously I mean I would, I would love to bring a lot of the rest of this along with us into the future for as long as possible. What? Well, I don't see why. I don't. It seems so terrible. But, I mean, the purpose that uh, the plants, for instance, serve I mean, for a long time, we're gonna, we're going to have to have uh, something, I would think, along the lines of a biosphere. I mean, a, um, a, an ecosystem. Uh, but it may, we may get to the point where we can engineer ourselves to have a, a little ecosystem inside of us. Um, I don't know, it may sound weird, but um, by that point, we won't really be humans anymore. We'll be a lot of different species. We're gonna go in different directions, man. It's a huge galaxy. There's a huge universe. So, I mean, I say we just start going. You know, first step Mars. Moon. Yeah. Some of you can go to the moon. I think it's a waste of investment. But, eventually, yes, working on Venus, you know, long, long before Gary started talking about Martians and Venusians, um, or at least that I heard him talking about it, Gary, um, I was thinking that it would be a good idea to start taking the atmosphere from Venus, the carbon dioxide, and um, taking it to Mars, creating a sort of automated um, orbital system that would bounce between the two planets, just constantly, do you know, and how how to get it, you know, 
but it it needs to be the carbon dioxide needs to be removed from Venus's atmosphere if we're going to colonize it. There's just too much there. It's it's too thick. The atmosphere is just too thick. What was it? Ninety times, ninety times the the, the density of the atmosphere of Earth. Um, you know, it's it's almost thick enough that you could swim through it or fly through it for human. I mean, but yeah, it's pretty thick. Ninety times atmospheric pressure. Mm. It's mostly carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is, is what life needs to start off, you know, like the plants and things. And that's that well that's what was here. That's just what was here. Until until plants started. Using it as a source of energy, creating sugars out of it, emitting oxygen, and then you know, animals started using it. Almost there. Almost derealization. I tried to explain. I don't know what it's called, really. I think that's what it's called. so many of you things are so used to this just do your things and they're not even your things no one alive majority of this stuff. I mean, as far as you know, computers and things, yeah, there's still a lot alive. But the, the working, the jobs, yeah. it's not like I would starve. This isn't the right word. I get angry. 
I don't mind anger. I just don't like murder. And I wish I wasn't so used to it. I wish I didn't accept it so much. Eating dead animals and dead plants. I should go back to just minerals and water. See how long I last. Even these vitamins that come from, uh, there's no way it's going to say all the sources of plants and animals and stuff. Most of it probably comes from life. Something that was recently alive. Uh, salt, though. I mean, salt. Some things that have been dead for hundreds of millions of years, uh, for the most part. Even the salt in the ocean. I'm just really interested in studying uh, the Hadean period, what we know about that, or uh, Archean, Ar is it Archean, Hadean, Archean, what's the next one, come on. But essentially, what Earth was like before life started doing its thing. Good good and bad. Mm. Mostly good. <laughs> and we're here. I like this. And, uh, yeah. I like life. I do. Um, I don't see anything. Overall, over the, you know, four billion years. I don't see much wrong with it. And I know we humans are doing some stupid things to each other, but it's only, you know, Get better. It's getting better all the time. Don't worry. Don't panic. Don't despair. You can. You can panic a little. You can despair for a while. You, know, you can. You can be miserable for a while. But don't. Don't let it continuously bring you down. Just tell people people what you don't like and ultimately it'll, you know, it'll have an effect it will. and if you really know what you don't like and why you don't like it can you tell the right people
more educated, the more intelligent, the more resourceful among us do the things that life does. That's freedom. I mean, science discovery, um, you know, new things, new things all the time. Can you imagine how much the first humans flipped out over fire? <laughs> now we're playing with atoms. A lot of people flip out over that. We're playing with genes, people flipping out over that. You know, oh no, it could end all life. Sorry. Life adapts. You know, as long as we don't kill all the trees. If it got bad enough, it would be undeniable. I mean, for now, you got your, you know, people on both sides, you know, or the majority on one side, and enough people on the other side saying, hey, you know, stop it. Stop. Stop doing that. Stop polluting. It's unnatural. <laughs> I think I think when I was about thirteen or fourteen, maybe maybe earlier, or maybe a little later. Um. I notice people throwing around that term unnatural or man-made like it is bad. Um, yeah, this is all natural. Life has been rearranging matter for billions of years. There's gaining more and more control. So, yeah, don't fear that. You, you may be concerned who has most control. I would say make it make it more democratic. You know, for everyone. You need everyone to have an equal say. Yeah, sorry. sorry. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. Whatever that, that feeling was, the, you know, the good feeling from the dreams, I couldn't, couldn't conjure it back, couldn't bring it back, couldn't recreate it. But, I, I tried. Yeah. Yeah. Keep going with democracy. Less less leaders no, more leaders need more leaders take down those you know top brass a peg should not be one person like don't don't do it don't don't go the route where there is. If 
if there ever is a sort of president of Earth. Don't give him too much power. You know, ultimately the, the largest majority of people should have the power. But, you know, a president can make decisions. Um, you know, so I, I feel that politicians should have to surrender their lives. I mean, not, not die, but everything, you know, c continuous monitoring, you know, like flipping through a channel or going to a web page, you know, if, if they, these people are so good, we should be able to see who, where they are, who they're talking to, you know, what they're doing at any point in time, you know, their whole stories, their whole histories, um, you know, once, once you go into politics, you give up, you know, your life and your whole past and the whole thing. We need to know everybody that you've talked to, every deal that you've made, everything you've said. the ultimate transparency. Yeah, politicians. Right there. And they need to get get some control over over business. the planet. 